talk about my experience with functional orthodontics because I think it's something that not many people are um, familiar with. Like me, for example, I had no idea this um, kind of system existed. So basically what um, functional orthodontics is, it's um, a, a system that corrects any problems you have in with your teeth like in your in your mouth if you've got um like protruding teeth at the front if you have um, an underbite overbite um if your if the roof of your mouth hasn't developed properly and the way i came across this was because um I, I went to the dentist and i have a problem with receding gum line on my lower teeth at the bottom here and I asked him why, why it was happening because as far as I was aware of I, it couldn't have been happening because of my brushing technique because I usually I either brush sideways or like this like in a certain ne I never brush like this never and I always use soft brushes and I don't ever put really hard um, pressure on, on the brush or anything on, on my teeth so I asked him and asked me if, if I could do anything about it and because I had seen on the internet that you can like um, you can do a, like a, a procedure where you get some of the skin from the roof of your mouth and put it on to the, the part where the, the gum has receded from but he, he told me that in his opinion, it, it wasn't a really good procedure because of the healing of it was a bit complicated and basically he, he said that it wasn't really good, he, he didn't recommend it. But he told me that um, the reason that I was getting receding gum line was because of the, um, my uneven teeth and um, I have a, a problem where you as you can see like this part here on this side the, 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 the teeth are lower because they, they're, so, they're slightly um, pushed to the front and slightly um, like down a bit so it, they appear to be like lower than, than this side and so th this is why he said that what, I, what was causing the receding gum line because it, of course it, because of this this different pressures on my gum from like the different sides of my mouth and everything and then that's when he um, recommended the functional orthodontics because I told him I wanted to get braces to straighten my teeth because other than this thing here I the, my teeth were going really were, were getting crooked and I didn't understand why because my teeth they ever since like I was a teenager when I was a teenager they were really straight they were perfect normal didn't have any problem and um, I had worn braces when I was around 13 14 I think 13 and it was to correct this problem here like um, I had a gap between the top teeth and the lower teeth and um, I just I didn't wear braces to straighten out my teeth I just used the braces to close the gap that was here so I had like hooks on the braces and I had to wear a rubber band so that it would pull the teeth together and I didn't have to even wear my braces for a year and it was maybe like about eight or nine months and the problem had been resolved and then um, as a w years went by my I started to notice my front um, tooth was starting to protrude a bit and at the time I thought it was because I wasn't wearing my um, retainer braces religiously and so it was affecting how my teeth were staying in place and even my mum thought this she, she would say to me look you see you're not wearing your retainers now your teeth are starting to get crooked again and it, it didn't make sense because my teeth weren't crooked before I wore braces so I, I wasn't really understanding how this could be happening and then when my wisdom teeth started to come through, I blamed it on them. I thought it was because of my wisdom teeth that um, this tooth here was getting uneven and it was just like messing up my teeth. I thought it's the wisdom teeth. And um, 
this, that's what I said to the dentist. I even had all my wisdom teeth removed so I could get braces to get my teeth back to normal. But I, I also had them removed because they, they kept getting infected and causing too, too many problems. So as well as thinking I needed to remove them to get braces in because my teeth were getting crowded and I was thinking, okay, there's no space in my mouth for all the teeth. So I had to remove my wisdom teeth to get braces and I had been told this by other dentists as well which is not the case and so after I had seen the dent this dentist and he recommended the functional orthodontics to me I um, booked an appointment with uh, an orthodontist who specializes in that and he also recommended it to my husband because my husband's teeth they're slightly crowded as well and so we both started to um, undergo this treatment functional orthodontics and the reason why my teeth were getting crowded why I discovered this was happening was because the roof of my mouth um, didn't develop properly so when you're a child the roof of the roof the roof of your mouth is usually quite high and as you grow it um, flattens out a bit to grow with your face obviously to um, make your adult teeth be able to fit in your mouth because obviously when you have your milk teeth you don't need to have a big roof because the milk teeth are small you have a child's mouth um, so yeah that's what happened to me the, the roof of my mouth didn't um, develop it stayed like really um, caved like this so the, there's no space uh, there's not enough space for my teeth in my mouth so the, what I have to do, or what has to be done, is to um, open out the roof of my mouth so that the teeth can fit properly. And um, if you research a lot of orthodontists and dentists, they, they will say that this is impossible for adults, which is not the case at all. If you're an adult, it's still possible to, to open the roof of your mouth. And the problem is, if you go to a conventional orthodontist, they'll tell you that you have to extract teeth to straighten your teeth um, because they're crowded, there's not enough space, so you have to extract the teeth to create the space. And this this is not the case at all. What is, the problem a lot of the time is, is what happened to me, the roof of the mouth didn't develop properly and it didn't stretch out. So that's why the teeth are beginning to get crowded. And what happened here with the, these teeth going lower down here was I discovered that um, I'm a tongue thruster. So it, there are so many things that you unconsciously do affect how your mouth and your teeth develop. So this problem here is, was caused by the fact that instead of, um, of course I never noticed it, I only noticed when I was told about it. Like for example, when I swallow my um, tongue, your tongue is supposed to um, naturally rest on the, the roof of your mouth rather than thrusting forward and after I was told this I noticed that um, I didn't leave it resting on, on the roof of my mouth but I would sometimes, it sometimes get stretched forward but then the, the problem is caused by the fact that my mouth is slightly small because of the roof as I explained before wasn't stretched out properly so, like I said, so many things that you are totally unconscious of it really affect the, the development of your face and your mouth. And another important thing that it, um, has affected the development of my um, mouth and the top part of my, um, my upper jaw and like my face and everything is the fact that it's something that I had no idea that I must have been doing was a fact that on one side of my mouth, it's on this side, the, um, the roof is less developed than the other side because I didn't chew enough on this side of my mouth. So I don't, you probably noticed, I'm not sure maybe now if I tell you, but on this side of my mouth, this, this line here is slightly more prominent, prominent than on this side because of the, the muscles on, on this side of my face had more of a workout during the years than on this side because I didn't chew on this side of my face enough. So now what I have to do now, I have to just chew on this side of my face to try and um, 
even out the, the imbalance of the jaw. So what happens is, because this side is less developed than this side, my um, teeth, the top teeth and the bottom teeth, if, if you look in the mirror, you'll notice like the two front teeth, they should be in line with the two bottom teeth, like in the middle. And that doesn't happen with me. My um, this, These teeth here, they're slightly over to this side because the move, the move, the roof, hasn't um, developed like so it's kind of like this like one side is like this and then one side is a, a bit like this instead of being equal so i'll show you my brace for you to see how high the roof of my mouth is and for you to see an example how um each brace of course is tailored to the problems that you have to fix um your teeth and the the bad habits that you have in your mouth so this, this is my brace and I don't know if you can see, as you can see, like it's so high, the roof of my mouth and I don't know if you can tell like how one side, like this side here, it, it's slightly higher and um, steeper than this side because as what I explained and just for an example for you to see like the differences between the roof of my mouth, this is my husband's brace. And as you can see, he, the roof of his mouth is like normal, it's wide, whereas um, the roof of my mouth is so high because it wasn't, it didn't develop properly. And on this side of the brace, like my, my brace, because of the problem I had with the, with the thrusting thing, with the tongue thrusting, my brace has to be um, together, like, like with my husband's braces. They're, they're separate. You have one for the top part and one for the bottom part. But because of my tongue thrusting, I have to have um, the, the braces connected so that when they're in my mouth, it helps to train my tongue to stay back and not to move forward whenever I swallow and everything. And the way that it stretches your mouth, your jaw bones, is that um, in the middle here you have like um, screws and then whenever you're told to um, open or tighten the brace it, it opens up the brace so then um, the more you open the brace obviously the more it stretches out the bones of your jaws so that's basically how it works and this is just an, my example of my brace and for whatever problem you have it's, the brace isn't going to necessarily be the same as this one or the same as this one. Um, the, um, each functional um, brace thing is, is always, of course, tailored to your specific needs. And I've only been using this for, it hasn't even been a whole year yet. And my, my top teeth, they're like almost, I would say, like 96% straight. In comparison to what it was before and this this front tooth here it used to be quite protruding um, if I can find some comparison pictures then I'll put them in the video but I don't think I have any because I, I didn't ever like to take pictures like close or anything that showed up my teeth because I hated the fact that they were getting really um, uneven and crowded but if, if I find pictures then I'll, I'll show like before and after so these, this, the teeth, my front, my top teeth are almost a hundred percent straight now, and what I'm waiting for now is to correct this problem here. And I've got kind of like um, I think it's overbite or I remember it's overbite or underbite where these teeth here are slightly more forward than these top teeth here. So I need that. That's like the, the next big step. The first big step for me was to get this tooth back to normal and I also had a problem on this side of the sorry no this side of my mouth the teeth were quite caved in because of the amount of unconscious only one side chewing on this side that I was doing compared to this side and now these teeth here they're, they're a lot more um, they straightened out a lot more in compared compared to how they were before. So, um, if you've got crowded teeth or like um, any problems with your mouth or mouth mouth mouth, or um, 
problems with spatial symmetry or anything, it's a good idea for you to um, check out um, functional orthodontics because it's a really, really bad thing to like extract teeth unnecessarily because if you extract too many teeth, it affects the um, shape of your face and the development of your face. And I've seen like so many articles online like comparing twins that were treated with functional orthodontics and the other twin that was treated with the conventional train track brace method and it shows how um, the, the conventional method affected the development of the face because it, the thing is with the functional orthodontics it, it works with your natural physiology it doesn't um, force your um, mouth or your, your teeth to take an unnatural shape the, the functional orthodontics helps to um, correct problems rather than um, not correcting the problem and ex unnecessarily extracting teeth basically if that's what um, your orthodontist has told you that you need to do you, you never need to um, extract teeth we need all our teeth so um, that's my experience with functional orthodontics I hope I've brought new information to any of you guys who didn't know about it because I'm, I'm so glad I came across it because if I were to um, get normal braces, like the train tracks, then the, my teeth would get straight, but because I haven't corrected the, the actual problems in my mouth, then after a while, my teeth would get crooked again. So it, it doesn't correct the problem. Like this, this has happened to people I know. Like It's what happened to me. I used normal braces. I had straight teeth before, but my teeth went crooked because of the problems that I had in my mouth. And... I have a friend and um, she wore braces all throughout um, school and she wore them for quite a number of years and her teeth were extremely straight when she took the braces out but nowadays her teeth are really crooked like you'd never be able to tell she wore braces and the reason why they're crooked is because she also has the problem with a, a narrow mouth her, the, the roof of her mouth didn't stretch out properly and I have another friend who has the same problem he has a narrow mouth, he wore braces, had really straight teeth, but because the, the roof of the mouth was really narrow, um, the, his teeth went crooked again, because the, the teeth can't be accommodated to, to the small space of the mouth. So, um, yeah, that is my experience with the functional orthodontics. I do recommend it to you if you have um, any kind of like problem in your mouth, that it could overbite, underbite uneven um, teeth, asymmetrical face, then definitely research it. The problem is, um, I, I was trying to find on the internet dentists that cater to, that do functional orthodontics for adults in London, but I can't find anything on the internet. I can only find people who um, treat children. So when I get to London, um, it's one of the things that I'm going to be really trying to find out about and see if these um, orthodontics will tr um, do adult treatment even though they, they just talk about doing um, children treatment so um, yeah that's what I have to say about functional orthodontics. Something I forgot to mention is the fact that these braces you're supposed to wear them all the time other than when you're eating um, of course you, you can wear them when you're drinking and water but if you drink anything else like milkshake or coffee whatever um, then you shouldn't be wearing them and something I have to say about that is of course if you wear them all the time you'll get really quick results um, they do work if you wear them like only at night time or not all the time they do work but of course they it won't the results won't be as fast but it's not tr it's, it isn't true to say that if you do not wear them um, all the time except for when you're eating that they don't work because they do work like um, I, I can't wear mine all the time because um, the job I have they, they, would, they don't allow me to wear them all the time I have to speak so um, not to say that you can't speak when they're on you, of course you can speak but they, they affect your speech and the, where I work I can't have my speech affected 
so I cannot wear them while I'm at work. So of course I wear them any other time other than when I'm at work. But um, of course you have to wear them as much as possible to get the best results. I know this video is long, but it could be even longer. I'm just trying to um, condense my experience and give information for people who don't know about it. But um, hope you liked it, hope you found it informative and helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.